Hi, in this video, I will talk about the bash exclamation shortcuts, also called as interactivity shortcuts that bash has adopted from uh, an older shell called C shell and also TCSH. C shell was popular for all these history completion and you know interactivity shortcuts, which was not found in bash and also KSH. Uh, was not found in the bone shell, sorry, bone shell and KSH, but bash actually took in some of these features from C shell and also some parts of TCSH and these features are available in your shell if you want to use them. So I'll tell you how this works. These are based on exclamation symbol and I will tell you how they work. For example, if you type a lot of commands, like say, I type in a command, like say, ls slash edc, right? And uh, maybe I'll say ls slash edc slash win, some folder, some random folder which I chose. If I want to repeat the previous command in C shell, you can use double exclamation. This syntax works even in the bash shell. It'll just repeat the previous command that you just executed. Script finding is quite convenient. But then if you're using bash, the modern way of doing it is simply using the up arrow key and pressing enter. So this double exclamation is not very useful in modern use case scenario because bash provides a more simpler alternative of using the arrow key navigation to walk through the history or using control R to go to, to use reverse incremental search. Uh, it's also possible that you want to repeat the last command, which starts with a particular word. Let's say I type in a couple of commands in here. Let's type new name, let's type um, ID, let's type date, let's type uh, who am I, let's type um, all the basic commands which I had covered earlier, post name, and uh, let's type uh, new name minus R, and now I want to repeat the last command that starts with the word ls. So do, in order to do that, you can simply use exclamation ls. It will repeat the last command that starts with the word ls. The bash equivalent of it is simply pressing control R and just typing ls. We'll do the same thing. You can execute it. Or you can use control R and you can use un automatically it selects u name minus r. You can run this, right? So the C shell way of doing it, which is still available in Bash for backward compatibility or compatibility with C shell, is exclamation um, and followed by the first few words of the command. Maybe you can type maybe exclamation um, wh and it'll run who am I command, which is the last command that I executed some time ago. This command, right? So who am I substituted here? So these are quick history completion mechanisms that are available in case you want to type it. On the command line and uh, the other features are quite useful other than these two basic options is uh, extracting parts of the previous command which you can use in the current command let me just demonstrate this for example if at all i um, run a command that says uh, you know let me just show you a simple example let's say echo a couple of characters in here Now I executed this, uh, sorry, <clears throat> executed this command. Let's say I want to just repeat all the words in this command, but the first word, I want to ignore the first word. In order to do that, the shortcut for that would be to use, um, you know, um, you can say, if you want to place the last word, you say exclamation dollar, but if you want to place, uh, um, you know, all words of the previous command, except the first word, you can use exclamation asterisk. I'll just show you right here. If at all, I want to create all these folders. Let's say I want to run echo and I typed all these things, but I want to just create these folders. I can use mkdir. And then from the previous command, I want to take in all the arguments and place it right here. I can actually use exclamation asterisk right here. Yeah, it shows permission denied because it looks like I'm in EDC BIM folder, which is not my home directory. I have no permissions to create files or folders in that location. So as a normal user, you can only create files and folders in your home directory or in slash temp folder. Let me do one thing and let me just go back to my home directory and type CD. And then I want to repeat the previous command. I can simply use control R, MKDIR, and I can get this command right here, right? But then let's assume that I create this folder and I can, uh, um, these folders are created. So when I run ls command, you can see these folders are listed right here. So suppose if I, Try to run mkdr one more time 
will fail because this file exists. I want to remove all these folders. To remove all these folders, I can just run rmdar and then all the entries that I pass to mkdar command line, the command line arguments, I want to substitute it in here. For that, I can use exclamation asterisk. So when I run this, it actually runs rmdar followed by all A's, all D's, all C's, and so on. So basically, exclamation asterisk will repeat all the words of the previous command other than the first word, which is the command itself. So you'll only get the command line arguments, that second, the second word onwards, right? So you consider all of these as independent words, it only extracts this part and places it in here. Sometimes before executing a command, you want to know how the command gets executed, right? So for that, for debugging purposes, for learning, figuring out how this command will run, you can always put that exclamation asterisk and end with a colon p. Colon p will just print. It'll execute the command as rmdar and followed by this. Once you know this works, you can always repeat the previous command and run it. Right? You can always repeat the previous command and execute it. This will execute the entire command. Right? So this is how you can execute previous commands features. Right? Uh, there are times where you have a command where you want to only extract. Um, you want to extract the last word of a command. Let's say mm, I just did a um, ls slash etc slash vim as usual, or ls slash tmp this time, or maybe I'll do mkdar slash tm slash new folder. This folder got created in slash tmp. There was no error, but now I want to change my current working directory to that particular location. I can run cd command and then I can use exclamation dollar. Exclamation dollar will take in the last word and place it right here. So right now the current working directory is now changed to this new folder. So if you're if at all you want to extract the last word from the previous command, the shortcut is exclamation dollar. If you want to uh, if you want to substitute or if you want to place all the words from the previous command other than the first word which is the command itself it is exclamation asterisk so in fact if all i do uh i'll just repeat this again so i'll just show you with the print at this time so let me just go back if let's say I were, i'll just change back to my home directory and uh rmd ar slash tem slash new folder let me again recreate this i can i want to recreate this folder for this i can use mkda this time i'll use exclamation dollar if i put a colon p here as usual so if at all you want to see how the command is going to get executed without running the command itself you can always end with the colon p after the substitutions in place so this is how the command will be executed all of these are called as history substitutions and this is how they work there's also another interesting feature is that uh, i told you about repeating the previous command printing how the command will be executed by adding a colon p at the end uh, place the last word of the previous command. Place the last word of the previous, you know, place the last word of the previous command, but print it. Don't execute the command. That's what this colon p does. Exclamation asterisk. Place all the words of the previous command except the first word. But there are times where you want to extract the nth word of the previous command. Let's say that I have a folder like. Let's say I'll just uh, use echo a couple of entries like this. But this time. I want to extract the third word from the previous command. The third word happens to be this particular entry, right? This all these here. And I want also the fourth word alone, right? It's not fourth, I think the fifth word, right? This is third, this fourth, this fifth word. So if you want to do that, you can rerun this command echo. You don't even have to run this command. I tell you, I want even echo. Let's assume I can actually use um, exclamation colon zero zero will represent the command itself then one two right i want this one this all these this is this is zero this is one this is two this is three and this is four so i will select the zero which is the command itself followed by i want all these and all these to be substituted in here so i can use exclamation colon zero one two and three Four, so exclamation colon four. Let's see the command got executed with those cherry picking of exactly what words you want from the previous command. Uh, 
many times when you run commands like these, it's uh, used for this purpose. Let's assume that I create a couple of folders. I say nkdir slash temp slash uh, folder one slash temp slash new folder two slash temp slash another folder. Right? Now, this mkdir command was run with three arguments. Right? Three folders are created. Now, I want to switch to the second folder, which is new folder two. I want to change my current working directory to this particular entry. To do that, I can simply use cd exclamation colon zero one two. So two here. And you can see it ran cd slash temp slash new folder two. It's my current working directory. So these are ways you can extract words of the previous command and place them in the current command by using exclamation colon number, right? And uh, there are also other options that is also there is, okay, this is the command that I showed you. Exclamation colon, this n is like place the nth word of the previous command. Remember, the n starts from zero. Zero is the command itself, and all other arguments will be like one, two, three, four, five, it goes on. And uh, there are some specialized use cases. For example, if you want to place a word by removing the last file name from the path, it is useful for path notations. For example, if at all I, let's say I do a, I, I just type uh, ls slash, uh, you know, uh, etc slash system system d slash and if i type maybe um you know um test service you get an error it says no such file directory hmm. i don't know whether it's called test service i want to know what the name of that folder is so i want to see the contents of etc system d right this time so what i can do now is i can use ls and uh, what i can do is from the argument right this particular argument i can use maybe exclamation colon uh, one i can also use colon h the colon h subset colon h modifier what it does is it'll extra it'll print this entire path without the last part of the path without the file name component the file name component is also called as the i would say the base name right the base name component is this that is left out it'll print everything else it shows the contents of etc system d and in system d there is no file called test service so this could be quite convenient especially if a long path and the last entry in the path is not accessible you want to see whether the previous part of the path is accessible then you can use this notation right so this is a convenient feature in certain use cases and uh, the other feature i told you is that you can also place a word back referencing the nth word at the cursor of the current command Again, this is very, very rarely used. I don't use it, but I sort of figured it out that this exists and it's telling you. For example, if all I have some command, let's say echo a d d b c c c d d d e. I want to repeat the first word in here. I want to repeat the first word. Instead of typing it back like this, what I can do is I can use exclamation colon one and I put a hash one, sorry, hash one. Exclamation colon hash one. Hash one will back reference uh, an argument in the current command itself within this command. So when you run this now, oh, it says unrecognized history modifier. Just one moment. I think I made a mistake here. Yeah, it's exclamation hash colon number. I made a mistake. It's not uh, it's not like this. Let me just show you. Let's say echo, all A's, all B's, all C's. All D's, all E's. And then I want to repeat, let's say, maybe this time I want to select this one, this particular argument. There's argument zero, argument one, argument two. For doing that, you can use exclamation followed by hash, followed by colon, and then number. I so swap the whole, you know, hash and colon there. That was a mistake. So when you use this, you can see that this particular token, this word, is repeated. You can repeat multiple words. Maybe I can use exclamation. I can use all A's, all B's, all C's, followed by exclamation. Sorry, uh, exclamation hash colon one zero one two three three, and exclamation hash colon two, and exclamation hash colon. 
you can see that it shows up as a b c c b a so you can see that symmetry here anyway so you can use these kind of back referencing shortcuts in certain use cases right i don't use it regularly so that's the reason i don't remember this other than the fact that i just occasionally look up this particular functionality right um you should also note that there is also another shortcut which can be used for doing a simple substitution from the previous command let's say you ran a command and there was a mistake i want to substitute something. for example i just typed ls slash user slash lco lc you know i, I typed this wrong like this right or maybe i'll type um, user share slash um you know wallpapers or background there's no such folder mm, okay never mind i'll just use user local slash src but it's sort of let's say i misspelled this misspelled this so it shows that no such fellow directory what you can do now is you can actually use uh exclamation and uh, exclamation exclamation followed by i think the syntax is here is double exclamation followed by colon gs double exclamation colon global substitute substitute l o c e l to l o c a l and repeat the command so if you want to do some quick correction of the previous command if you have a long running command with long paths and you made a mistake in one of the file names or anything in that path string and you want to do a quick substitution you can use double exclamation that basically repeats a previous command but within the previous command i want to globally substitute all occurrence of the word local let's assume to maybe i can just uh you know use share this will tell you that this particular folder is not found there's no src in the share folder but let me just show you you can see that it says in user share src no such fellow directory but i can again run this one more time colon gs slash um share slash local and this works so these are some of the exclamation shortcuts that you can use in bash shell these are also called as um history substitution features in bash substitutes from the history right tokens of the history of the previous commands so these are quite convenient and these were originally found in the c shell c shell was popular for this back in the days people thought that this is a great feature but you know all the modern shells slowly inculcated them bash has it even z shell has it so i guess even fish i don't think i don't know i have not really tested in fish shell but bash and z shell has these features implemented all right then so with this i end this video so yeah try these commands out so only when you practice these kind of shortcuts you'll know exactly what they do right try this a couple of times and it automatically gets imprinted in your finger muscles so all these bash shortcuts the previous video i talked about various shortcuts related to the control keys and the alt keys by practicing them you have to make sure that you don't have to think your finger should automatically move along it comes only by practicing a couple of times and write out this will make you very very productive working at the bash shell prompt thank you very much so i'll meet you in the next video